Florida Department of Education has blocked that new AP course. It was created by College Board, and it's been in the works for over a decade. News Channel 8's Annie Mapp joins us from Tampa. And why is the state not welcoming this new course, Annie? The Florida Department of Education says College Board's new AP African American Studies course is historically inaccurate and goes against state law. But the DOE has yet to explain what exactly in the content is causing the problem. The College Board states the goal with the new AP course is to offer high school students an evidence-based introduction to African American studies. The class is expected to reach into a variety of fields such as literature, political science, and contributions and experiences of African Americans. Something university professor Dr. David Ponton believes could benefit most students. What they're really going to miss out on is an opportunity to demonstrate through this kind of capstone course that their high school career was more than just learning content. It was about becoming creators of new knowledge. In a letter to the College Board Florida Partnership, the Department of Education rejected the new course, but gave College Board an opportunity to return with, quote, lawful and historically accurate content. What the DOE wants changed is publicly unknown. But the state's response to the course by saying that it is contrary to the law, again, is not surprising. Uh, HB 7 makes clear that uh, our curriculum cannot make people feel guilty or compel them to feel bad about about their identities. In a statement, Republican lawmaker Randy Fine says he supports the DOE decision and that, quote, Florida students deserve to learn history, not wokest ideology pushed by leftists. And on its website, the College Board states it plans to have this new AP course in high schools across America by 2024, and they will provide the updated course framework before that class becomes available. Reporting live in Tampa, Annie Mapp, 8 on your side.